Hi, my name is Sugata. I'm the founder and CEO of Korechi Innovations Inc. We're based in Oshawa. We build autonomous robots for farming and golf courses. So as the CEO of a robotics company, some of my responsibilities are, first of all, making sure that the team works in sync, making sure that they're at their productive best. And in addition to that, I have to uh, basically make uh, sure that uh, you know all the design consider considerations are there uh, the safety is a big aspect uh, when it comes to robotics and farming because our robots are reasonably big and uh, we want to make sure that uh, people working around them can do it so in peace. I started out as an engineer in mechanical and materials and then uh, I had a bit of work experience with electronics and I found the line of robotics to be very interesting and so once I moved to Canada, I started working on that. So we build a few different kinds of robots and uh, this is where we are right now. In addition to what was taught at school, uh, we also uh, learned a lot by ourselves, uh, looking, uh, reading from forums, uh, doing additional classes online, and every day is a learning experience. And uh, we learn a lot from uh, farmers, uh, you know, interacting with them. Uh, they have a whole lot of uh, real experience that you will not find in books. So the Romeo line of uh, products uh, are essentially mini driverless tractors. Uh, they have tracks to reduce soil compaction, which allows the earthworms and the soil biology to flourish underneath so they don't get compacted much. Um, so you can basically uh, enable uh, the robot with different implements and it automates them. It can be something as simple as a uh, measurement tool, like the one that's loaded on the Romeo right now behind me, uh, or it can be uh, a plowing tool or even a seed spreader, a fertilizer spreader or even uh, you know something as simple as just uh, collecting fruits in the future. It's not simple, it's actually quite difficult to, color, to harvest. The farmers, uh, especially in North America, uh, it's very hard to find farm hands because uh, most people don't choose uh, to go into this field but the average age or the median age of uh, the Canadian or the North American farmer is very high and they're supposed to retire by now. So we need young blood, fresh blood coming into this. What the robots do is basically give them those uh, automation tools and it, first of all it's very attractive uh, for more uh, uh, young people to take on this skill but it's also far less backbreaking. you know. It's fun on the job. To be successful in uh, a robotics career, uh, the first or the most important thing is uh, you have to not give up because uh, some of these technical challenges are very severe, very, very, very demanding of your time and your uh, abilities. Uh, you have to just keep pushing on. Uh, if you need to temporarily move on to another uh, feature or a task, uh, but you should always be coming back. You cannot give up. You have to be resilient. My name is Chuck Barisic and I'm the general manager of Haggerty Creek Limited. And Haggerty Creek is a full service crop input and supply business as well as a precision agriculture business. So what we do is we supply basically whatever a farmer might need to make their farm successful. Everything from agronomy advice, like what crops to plant, what fertility to use, to pest control products, to um, marketing their grain and, and dealing with the produce that they, that they make and selling it for them. So in, in, in the past, in a business like ours, the staff that we would hire were all farm raised in the past. The reality that we're facing is that we, we don't have that luxury to be able to hire people who come from a farming background. So now a mixture of our staff come to work for us who, do, who don't have the farming background and we are able to share that skill set with them. So just because somebody has come who has never driven a tractor before, well now we can send them out with an autonomous vehicle like this and they can do a, a farm task with something that they're actually quite familiar with, a computer tablet and a joystick controller. Because we've been interested in precision agriculture, the next step, now the machines can dry themselves in the field, the next step is to say, well, you know, do, do my staff actually need to be in the cab of the machines? So we've been considering different tasks that we could automate by using a robot in the field. And there's been very little of that happening in a field situation in Canada. But in a, in a field, like outside, it's a lot more challenging environment. And so where we started is we started with a small robot 
which is called Romeo in the background. And what this robot does for us is we thought we want to try to use it for doing soil testing. And when we're doing soil testing and soil scanning, we're using, there's a scanner on the back made by a company called Soil Optics. And it requires someone to drive across the field at a certain speed, at a certain distance, uh, repeated, you know, a, a certain number of times. Well, that job is fun for about 10 minutes. And then after that, it's hot and it's dusty and it's uncomfortable. And it's very hard to use like a, like a John Deere Gator, for example, and have it drive the exact same speed for four or five hours at a time. It's hard for an operator to do that. A robot, on the other hand, it doesn't care about the heat, it doesn't care about the dust, and if I tell it to drive, you know, five kilometers an hour, that's how fast it's going to drive. So it's a perfect fit for an, autom for an automated unit. And so when we had Romeo commissioned, we had it designed to be able to do that task. And so that is one, that is one thing that it does. So we will take it out, we will take Romeo out to the field, we will create what is called a mission for it. We will say we want Romeo to drive every 12 meters apart at six kilometers an hour. And it creates a map. It says, I'm gonna drive in this direction and we hit play and then, and then away it goes. And when it's all done, we can download the data off of the robot and my staff can then process and analyze that data.